Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. It is Sunday. <laughs> Sunday evening. Uh Sunday, February 12th, 2017. As you guys know on the weekend, it takes me a while to get off the couch, stop watching YouTube videos, and do my pocket dump deconstructions. I have been out and in and out and in, but haven't had a chance to film. Time to look at what I'm carrying today. I just finished cooking. Uh, I don't know if you guys know about Blue Apron. I get it every week. This is not sponsored at all. They don't know I exist. I guess they do because they charge me every week. <laughs> but it's really nice, especially if you don't know how to cook like me. Send you fresh food and show you how to cook it. Um, I just finished that time now to look at the pocket dump deconstruction. I know that was a weird beginning, wasn't it? Ah, it's tax. I started doing my tax. I should never do that before doing a video because it's so depressing. <coughs> so I'll remember that next year. Uh, let's look at the pocket dump deconstruction today. Um, I'm wearing my uh, Concord Impresario. I love this chronograph. I really do. Concord does great knives with the see-through back. Just a wonderful knife. Big and sturdy, but also beautiful as well. <laughs> I don't know. I should be selling my Cuban cigars to pay taxes. <laughs> ah, This is an expensive Cuban cigar, and I'm going to smoke this very expensive Cuban cigar. It's a Cohiba 2014 limited edition. It's one of my most expensive. I've got a couple of these in my humidor. You know what? I'm going to celebrate the fact that I live in a free country. How about that? And I'm going to drink a lot to pretend like I don't have to pay a bunch of taxes. How about that? I'm going to do that <laughs> with some blended scotch. Um... <laughs> Here is my uh, uh, coach, my one of my vintage thin coach wallets. Yes, if I look, if I if I seem a little uh, off balance, I am. I do hope you guys have been having a great uh, weekend. Man, the weekends go so fast. This one, it just literally went zoom. <laughs> it did. Um, man, all I can think about is work, and uh, that's not good. Taxes and work. So let's uh, get to the good stuff, okay? <laughs> it's got to be a lot better than taxes and work. This right here is my 2007 Chinese uh, coin uh, from, you know, uh, it's the lunar year of the pig, it's just a real nice coin. I love these flower coins. Just really nice. Um, that's for good luck. Whew, man, if I didn't carry a good luck silver coin every day, I don't know what would be happening to me. Let's talk about the knives today. I just wanted a light carry. At first, I was going to go real kind of heavy. With the knife that uh, got away, but I decided, no, nah, let's take it easy. I didn't want anything in my pocket after <laughs> after I was... <laughs> I'm going to stop talking about taxes, okay? Um, that's part of being in a free country, I guess. Our, our free country. Um, but uh, I wanted some light knives today. Uh, I, I started playing around with a big knife. Listen. That's the big knife that got away. <laughs> and instead, I went, you know, I really loved my zero tolerance carbon fiber. So I thought I'd go with the zero tolerance titanium. Usually what happens is I get this bigger knife, then I'm looking for my medium knife. I pick the medium knife, and the medium knife, actually, I start thinking, eh, maybe we do something smaller and have the medium knife be the big knife. And that's what I did today. Spyderco square head. You guys know I love the Spyderco tag knives. 
I really love the three from Serge Pachenko, um, the dog tags, and this square head I really like too. One big difference between the two, those three are, uh, the Serge Pachenko ones are um, slip joints, non-locking knives. Spyderco has figured out how to lock this. Listen, yeah, I call it a back lock because, you know, it's on the back <laughs> of the titanium frame. Um, they call it a liner lock because of probably how it operates. Um, so anyway, um, whatever you want to call it, it's a real nice and handy knife. It really is. I love the stone wash blade. S30V steel, just like the other uh, tags as well. Just good steel small in this case it locks has a little jimping right here on the blade as well uh, i really like it i love the pivots spent a little time on the pivots too real nice knife especially if you want to put one around your neck i put it on my keychain or just slip it in your pocket it's real safe they have these guards right here to keep you it's just a real nice knife, all in all. That is the Spidical Square Head. The truth is, I keep saying I wanted a smaller carry. What I really wanted was to carry the Sage 5. <laughs> that's, that's the truth of the matter. The Sage 5 is just a wonderful knife. The Sage series is uh, the series of knives that Spyderco has put together to celebrate the wisdom of the sages who, of knife making who created all of or made famous the locks, the, the locking knives that we have come to enjoy. Um, in this case, they finally, Spyderco, in their fifth try, Spyderco decided, look, our compression lock is good, important. We sell a lot of them with the paramilitary. So in this one, they patted themselves on the back. And you know what? It was deserved. This is the compression lock on the Sage Series 5. And this was the first three-inch knife, <laughs> three-inch blade knife that Spyderco released um in 2016 with the compression lock the second one of course was the para three the smaller paramilitary that they released with a three inch blade of course all of the sages have pretty much the same profile they have the three inch um spydeco leaf blade they're all s30v steel like this. I love the 50-50 choil, the jimping leading up to it. It's just a perfect size for an EDC. It really is. This has carbon fiber on top of G10. It's really nice. Really nice. Feels great. Uh, like I said, it has the um, compression lock and <laughs> the wire clip. All of the Sage knives have a wire clip i have told you that to me this is tied for my best number one spyderco knife yes it's a cheat but i just couldn't name which one and to me this knife and the pair of three same dimensions different shape of the blade they just went up to the top of my list. I just love them. It's a perfect size for me. I love the compression lock. I really love the compression lock. Um, and just everything about this knife screams, yes! So I'm so happy that Spyderco did that. And then you guys know I've been loving my zero, <laughs> loving my zero tolerance uh, 0450. I've just been loving it. This is the all titanium. Um, one of you told me, go get it. Try it. It's small, just like you like it. Flips like a dream. 
So I ordered both of them. I ordered the carbon fiber and the titanium. To me, the carbon fiber flips a little better, but both of them are smooth as silk. I mean, really smooth. Um, man, my first zero tolerance knives, two zero four fifties, and I'm in love with them. They're so thin too, just so nice, well built. A little jimping right there. I just really like it. I just didn't know it existed. <laughs> Everyone loved it too, online, on. Uh, YouTube, everything, so that's why I got two of them. Wow, I'm liking this carry. It's not making me feel a whole lot better about Monday being close and calculating how much I owe, <laughs> but it's a good carry. You know, I threw all these in my pocket. I had to meet friends at the last minute and came back in and went, whew, I forgot to do my pocket dump deconstruction. I really love this carry there you have it thumb it up thumb it up if you wish that sundays were 48 hours long <laughs> oh man i'm wishing you guys the best of sunday if you're watching this on sunday or the best of monday just the best of everything thumb it up let me know that you like these daily pocket dump deconstructions this is one of those days I would just have done my taxes, crawled in my bed, laid in the fetal position, and not done a video. <laughs> but I wanted to make sure that we continued. We've been doing this for over a year now, and we're going to continue doing it daily, I hope. Uh, <laughs> hit that subscribe button. Let me know that uh, even on a tax preparation day... <laughs> You like that I uh, am doing the pocket dump deconstructions, okay? Uh, I've taken pictures. I'll post this on Instagram uh, before this goes up. At Keith Kevin Kin. Let's talk about the knife that got away. Oh, yeah. I've been playing with my browse blades. Uh, I'm just... I, I like browse blades. It is the third largest collection that I have. Behind Spydeco, Chris Reeve, I have a lot of the older uh, Browse Blade mid text that I really love. This is one of them. It's the VR71. It's in carbon fiber, great carbon fiber flipper. D2 steel, all of Browse Blades are D2 steel. See how it just is so smooth. Oh, I'm really loving it. Uh, you know, I didn't look... About a four inch blade, just really nice. Um, Jason Browse just released not too long ago a carbon fiber version. He's been doing that with a lot of his knives. You know, his knives, these knives go about as much as a Chris Reeves, a Benza, sometimes a little more. And so um, he's been re releasing a lot of his knives with G10 to get the price down so that more people can have them. In this case, the VR71 was released. It's a real nice knife. I don't have the G10 version. I got the first ones with this wonderful carbon fiber. Has a backspacer, G10 backspacer, titanium liners. Uh, his flipper way up top just flips that big blade. Just wonderful. Oh, stone wash blade that falls and flips like a dream. Um, you can see the clip. Gives you a little room for a lanyard, a long room for a lanyard. Does it flip on either side? I don't know if it does. Right now I know it's right hand tip up. This is the knife that got away. Wanted to go a little smaller, a lot smaller, actually. Look at this. So decided to go with that. I actually was going to take that downstairs because on Sundays I get my blue apron and I go and visit the boys, the Sunday shift in the mail room, and I bring them a big knife. I was thinking about bringing them that, but you know what? I have a bunch of Spyderco militaries, and they're pretty big, four-inch blades. 
You know, S30V steel, this one is my digi camouflage. I have four all with different uh, blades, but man, I'm really, I don't carry my militaries that much. I love the military, um, but I don't carry it as much as I carry the paramilitaries because the paramilitary is a lot smaller. It has that G10, like mini backspacer. So it's still easy to clean. Liner lock. Just a real nice coated. This has the coated black blade and the digi camel. And I was thinking, man, why am I not letting them play with some militaries? And they had a ball with it. Took me a while to clean up that blade. <laughs> they had a ball with this military down in the mail room. That is the big knife of the day. It's the military, the Spyderco military. Uh, I was thinking about the military because, of course, this year, 2017, Spyderco is coming out with a military. Is it four? A new military. Yeah, improved military with the design and the blade steel. Can't wait to see it. There you have it, guys. That's the pocket dump deconstruction, the knife that got away. And the big knife for me and the boys down in the mailroom, uh, they kept going, You're, it sounds like, it seems like you don't want to leave, Kevin. I'm like, eh, I'm doing taxes. Told you I wasn't going to say that, but I did. <laughs> hey, you're getting the raw, Kevin. I hope all of you guys are having a wonderful time. <sighs> Keep those pockets full. <laughs> I know I'm a little off today. I, I apologize to you guys, but the knives are still great knives, right? Um, you know, all 365, <laughs> you can't be on all 365 days of the year. Uh, you guys have a perfect, perfect day. I, I, I sincerely am so happy that you guys are here. Happy that I get a chance to talk to you. It's very cathartic. Goodbye.